All right, guys, this is the JP tactical muzzle brake. Um, here it is mounted on the gun. You can see it's uh, solid on the bottom, two large ports on the side, and four ports on the top. Um, here it is compared to your standard A2 flash hider. Uh, this is the packaging that it comes in. It's kind of the back. And it comes with like instructions, a little info card. Uh, this is my original crush washer and it comes with some foam ear plugs. Pink and yellow. Uh, I tried it out and I'll show you the videos and with the standard A2, I was shooting my EOTech 512, and this is a DPMS AP4. Um, I was shooting about 150 yards, medium kind of rate, just taking my time. Uh, I was wearing a three-point sling, and with the standard A2 flash hider, I was pulling about two, 230 position, and at 150 yards, it looked like it was moving off target probably six to ten feet to the right and maybe two feet high and I didn't know how much the compensator was going to help me and I thought kind of it was hype but this one actually works really well I was uh, I shot six shots I think with it on there and it was maybe going a foot to the right at the most on like one shot the rest of them seemed like it was like dead on and up and down was perfect and also noticeably lower felt recoil. Um, I could feel, I was shooting into the wind, and I could feel some of the blast coming back. I felt maybe like, not really, I felt like maybe like unburnt powder or something, I don't know. Just little pieces it felt like. So you wanna wear safety glasses probably, but if you're shooting with the wind, you probably won't worry about it too much. Most of it goes straight out the side. Um, but all in all, it's pretty awesome. Um, it's like 90 bucks. I ordered it from Brown Ellis since I only live, I don't know, 30 miles away. It came pretty quick. Just two days or three days with 4th of July in there. And I gotta add one thing here. I forgot to say a couple things. Um, the hardest part about this was just installing it and getting the old one off. I had to put my, I took my upper off and put this in a vise with a uh, strips of leather on each side of it and then I put some I couldn't get it off with just a wrench I kept one turn in the vise and I put some blaster BP it's like a it says penetrating catalyst that's what I used to get the flash hider off my MP1522 and it worked on this one too and just let it soak in for uh, 30 seconds or a minute and then stuck a wrench on there oops flashlight came off but uh it left a couple little marks from the wrench you can kind of see it on there not really didn't really wear the finish like all the way through it's just like marks on the black and then the other side's not as bad there's just one small one but it's not really a big deal and the other thing is is you can make this bias for left or right hand I didn't do it but it says here you can drill a hole in the flat portion uh, right here and drill like it says 3 16 and if you're right handed you put it on the right side or left handed you put it on the left side and that's supposed to kind of push it to counteract the pressure you're putting on with your off hand but uh, it seems really good the way it is I might shoot a little more on the side but um, maybe make a smaller hole in 3 16 I don't know if that much is necessary but or maybe just start small and work your way up and see how it works so that's all on the videos Alright, this is the standard A2 flash hider. We're gonna try this through the DPMS AP4 and I'll shoot kind of like a medium speed so I can see like what the EOTech dot's doing. I'll just pick a spot out in the field and shoot at that and try to keep it on there. See how hard it is with just the standard one and then we'll compare it to the JP next. Uh, we got six rounds. Alright, now 
Now we got the JP comp on there. Six more rounds, I'll shoot the same spot there. crazy it actually works